the United States is very big, so it's understandable that you might be confused when it comes to picking a place to visit. But don't worry, today we're going to be showing you the top 17 places to visit in the United States of America. So let's get into it. Number 17, Yosemite National Park. Even though the Grand Canyon is on the itineraries of the majority of tourists from other countries, Yosemite is a national asset that shouldn't be ignored. From the majestic waterfalls to the towering rock wells of El Capitan and Half Dome, Yosemite Valley is home to some of America's most renowned landscapes and iconic natural wonders. Families from various generations who have visited the park to camp, walk, and take in the scenery, as well as the mesmerizing images of Ansel Adams, the climbing community that has flocked here for decades, have all contributed to the area's history. Next, we have Acadia National Park, Maine. The Acadia National Park is another beautiful place where the mountains meet the sea. This utopia is undoubtedly Maine's most well-known vacation spot thanks to miles and miles of rocky coastline and even longer kilometers of hiking and biking paths. Cadillac Mountain, a 1,530-foot peak that can be crossed on foot, by bicycle, or by car, is probably the best place to visit while at the park. Early risers can see the nation's earliest dawn from this renowned summit. While you're there, you can spend the afternoon at Jordan Pond sipping tea and popovers after engaging in fun activities on the trails and beaches. Number 15, the Rocky Mountains, Colorado. The resorts in the western United States are some of the best in the world. This place has the softest, lightest snow you'll ever ski on mixed with spectacular views and every kind of terrain imaginable. While Aspen and Vail in Colorado might appear to be playgrounds for the wealthy and famous people, shredders and ski bums as well as large amounts of powder have always found a way to make this place fun. Whatever you do here, whether it's learning to snowboard, whether you launch from a cornice, a salmon through trees, riding in a train park, or constantly face plant, you'll undoubtedly end the day smiling in the snow. Next on the list is Savannah, Georgia. Savannah is the classic tiny southern city with old southern houses, enormous moss-covered trees and attractive parks, a lovely waterfront area with sweet shops and other peculiar shops and ancient structures. Not to mention, the people here are very nice, and the pace is moderate. When you get there, it becomes obvious that Savannah is a city where residents relax and love life, as opposed to a place that was only made for tourists. Since the city core is so small, you can easily walk anywhere. You can see this city in a single day, and you'll definitely want to stay a while. Next, we have Phoenix. Phoenix, Arizona is massive, sprawling city in the southwest of the United States that draws a lot of people from the north in wintertime. Phoenix is a fantastic place to go golfing, shopping, unwinding, and generally have some fun. Some of the best resorts in the state are located in the Phoenix metro area. They can be large, family-friendly resorts with water slides and beaches, or little cozy establishments where your every desire is carefully tended to. The area, which includes Scottsdale, Mesa, and a number of other municipalities, is well known for its world-class golf resorts, which serve as some of the most significant PGA Tour stops for both men and women. Next on the list is Chicago, Illinois. Chicago is called the Windy City, and quite rightly so because it will blow you away. No pun intended. It offers stunning architecture, beaches around the lake, and top-notch museums. But what really draws people in is how it combines refined culture with enjoyment. And this is a city where a Picasso sculpture is decked out in the colors of the community sports team. Also, here, people wait in line just as long for hot dogs as some of the best restaurants in North America. Although Chicago has harsh winters, in the summer it celebrates the balmy weather with culinary and music events that make excellent use of its riverfront. Next on the lift, we have Utah's National Parks. Southern Utah has a stunning landscape with canyons, bridges, natural amphitheaters, and incredibly compelling rock formations. Furthermore, Utah's parks provide access to some of the most breathtaking scenery in the world. One of those such sceneries is Zion National Park, which is renowned for its hiking paths in particular, and this makes it one of the most popular parks in the country due to its towering cliffs, waterfalls, and rivers that wind through the valley. Here in Arcs National Park, which is close to the town of Moab, you can find more than 2,000 sandstone arches, but the park is far larger than its name would imply. This place is so breathtaking, you'll want to spend some time there, 
It has rock spires, petrified dunes, distant mountain peak views, and the many tourist attractions around. It also is a popular spot for mountain riding in the US as well. Number 10, Walt Disney World, Florida. Walt Disney World is regarded as the happiest place on earth, and that's not really far from the truth, as Walt Disney World does, and then goes above and beyond to give you thrilling impressions that you are the star of the show. There is a magic that comes with watching your own child smile and laugh with a glow on their face after they've been greeted by Cinderella. Save the Galaxy on Epcot's newest hit roller coaster, Guardian of the Galaxy Cosmic Rewind, and fought Darth Maul like a Jedi Knight. This place has it all, and it's not just for kids, as you can find fun activities for adults too. Next on the list, we have New Orleans, Louisiana. With its many cultures and prominent French and Spanish influences, New Orleans is more like the Caribbean than the United States. The city is unique because of its Cajun and Creole food, jazz, and French Quarter architecture. With a variety of opulent resorts and accommodations, New Orleans is the ideal location for a long weekend escape. Don't worry about all the witch and vampire business that the originals have spelt out. The only thing you're going to find out there is pure excitement and fun. Mardi Gras, when extravagant costumes and crazy floats light up the streets, music can be heard throughout and the festivities appear never ending, is the climax of New Orleans calendar year. Number 8. Los Angeles The city where dreams come true. The neighborhoods of Hollywood, Beverly Hills, and Bel Air have historically dominated pop culture, and the city has always been affiliated with glitz and glamour. But the Los Angeles region also offers a wide variety of vacation options. Movie enthusiasts should definitely visit Hollywood. And of course, families can also visit the nearby Disneyland. You can also do a lot of shopping there, and you will undoubtedly find whatever you want in the Los Angeles region. You can also visit one of the many beaches in and around Los Angeles if you're in the mood for some sand and surf. Next, we have Santa Fe, New Mexico. Santa Fe is a historic city with a vibrant spirit. Art enthusiasts throng Canyon Road on Friday evenings to chat with artists, sip wine, and visit more than 80 galleries. Within the city's network of museums, art and history collaborates elegantly, and the dining and shopping option are top-notch as well. The surroundings, a blue sky, make the experience divine. Next, we have Las Vegas, Nevada. People say whatever happens in Vegas stays in Vegas. But this is not entirely true because you definitely want to share your experience here with other people as soon as you leave. The city puts on a spectacular show with its dancing fountains, erupting volcano, and Eiffel Tower beneath the neon lights of the Strip. Underneath it all is the allure of the casino, where the pumped fresh air and vibrant colors have one common objective, to take your money away from you. Be sure that you don't run into debt while having the time of your life in Vegas. Number 5. The Everglades in Florida the Everglades are a vast subtropical wetland where terrestrial, freshwater, and saltwater ecosystems intersect. It's a place where nature reigns supreme. The pristine national parks offer a combined 2.4 million acres of shelter for a wide range of flora and fauna. If you want to see the natural splendor of the Everglades up close, you'll be greeted with natural attractions and a variety of outdoor activities that are hard to find elsewhere in the country. Some of these activities include snorkeling among shipwrecks covered in coral, hiking through lush mangrove habitat, and swamp trekking among cypress domes. Number 4. Waikiki Waikiki is a neighborhood of Honolulu on the Hawaiian island of Oahu. It's well known for its stunning gold sand beach that spans along the water's edge and is bordered by hotels and shopping centers. After spending time at the beach, you can rent a surfboard to test your skills in the waves then visit the shops before going out to dinner. Everyone, including families, couples, and singles, can visit this place. Number 3. The Grand Canyon The Grand Canyon is one of those places that everyone should visit at least once in their lifetime. One of the delights of any vacation to the United States is looking out over the canyon walls to the bottomless depth below and the infinite horizon above. The Grand Canyon can be done as a day trip from Las Vegas, Phoenix, and several nearby smaller cities like Sedona or Flagstaff. Another approach is to include a visit as part of a longer drive through Arizona and neighboring states. Taking the train to the canyon from Williams, Arizona can be yet another wonderful experience. Number 2. San Francisco 
families, singles, and couples can all enjoy a getaway in this quaint and gorgeous West Coast metropolis. Famous landmarks, charming neighborhoods, breathtaking landscapes, and outdoor dining are just a few of the reasons San Francisco is a fantastic travel destination. Explore the city's attractions by taking a cruise on San Francisco Bay, visiting Alcatraz, crossing the Golden Gate Bridge, strolling around Fisherman's Wharf, or boarding a streetcar. And first on the list is none other than New York City, New York. For first-timers wandering the streets, it can feel like entering a movie set with iconic buildings like the Empire State Building, Rockefeller Center, Chrysler Building, Central Park, the High Line, Times Square, Fifth Avenue, Broadway, and of course, the Statue of Liberty at every turn. It continues to be a major hub for fashion, theater, music, food, publishing, advertising, and business. The five boroughs are home to an astounding number of museum, parks, and ethnic districts. Put on your street clothes and do like the New Yorkers do. You can go on an evening stroll and go between continents because every block in this dazzling kaleidoscope represents a unique personality and history.